Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to do a video on a smartwatch. Now for those of you that have been asking me to do more Android related videos, here it comes. Um, this pretty much wraps up everything into one package for those that like watch reviews, for those that like my Android tech reviews, and uh, for those of you that just watch the channel no matter what I post. And to those of you that do, uh, thank you. I, I really appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get into this watch right here. And this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. And I'll get into what the differences are between the standard watch and the Classic. And maybe what's the differences between the Watch 4 and the Watch 5. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the world of smartwatches by Samsung. Okay, as I said, this is the second time I am doing this video. God, my uh, my audio was ruined, and I don't know what happened to this microphone. I'm not even sure if I'm going to get good audio this time, but I am running a backup on my Panasonic over here, which allows me to run, you know, well, all my cameras do, but I'm running a lav mic off my Panasonic. So I do have a secondary audio source that I can use if I need to use it. I could have run my Zoom H1N, but yeah, I got all these cameras. Uh, let's go ahead and utilize them. One thing I wanted to get out of the way real quick, and I hate to do this, but I've been asked by several of you, and, and thank you very much for this, and I'll get into this, uh, about a donate link, and if I had a Patreon account. And no, I don't have a Patreon account, and I don't plan on getting one. And here's the only reason, and it has, you know, again, thank you to those of you that asked me about it. I don't want to ask any of you for money, all right? I have a donate link below, you know. I don't like to bring it up because it just sounds cooth uh, to be asking you guys to donate to me. But no, I'm not going to get a Patreon account. Uh, you know, if I had 100,000 subscribers or something, maybe. And, and then even then, you know, you've got to put extra content out just for the Patreons. And, uh, you know... It's just it's just an avenue I don't want to go down right yet. I do these videos because I love to do the videos. I love tech. And this keeps me sane since I can't work anymore. So back to the video. We are going over the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. And there are two different kinds. There's the Classic and then just the standard Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. And the differences are the Classic has a stainless steel bezel ring case the whole nine yards solid uh, on both of these uh, and of course the standard version has an aluminum case body and also the only other difference is this one has a rotating bezel so if i actually rotate it you'll see that you can rotate through all your apps and stuff like that so um that's the only two things that are different. Nope, there is one more other thing that is different. The sizes of these watches in the standard Galaxy Watch 4 are smaller than the Classic. This is a 42 millimeter version and this is a 46. The standard version comes with a 40 millimeter and a 44 millimeter. So I hope I got that straightened out for any of you guys that are wondering. And to be honest with you, if you don't want that extra two millimeters of case area to look at, and you don't want that spinny ring that goes around here, which I like, save yourself some money and just get the Galaxy Watch 4 and don't get the Classic. Because we're going to find out, I'm going to go through the specs here next, and you're going to find out that there really isn't much difference between the Classic and the standard you know, Galaxy Watch 4 at all at least on the inside it's all on the outside and of course the size and that rotating bezel that's it so without further ado we are going to go ahead and get into the specifications of this watch so color you can get them in black which i like 
I think the silver one looks nice too, but I just like the black. You can get it in black or silver in both the 46 and the 42 millimeter version. You do have your home key, which is right here. And you have your back key, which is on the bottom. Of course, that 46 millimeter is from the edge of the glass to the edge of the glass or the crystal. Uh, and by the way, this is just mineral crystal glass. Uh, it's not uh, sapphire crystal. The Galaxy Watch 5, if I'm not mistaken, actually has a sapphire crystal, which that's awesome. And this one here is actually 42 millimeters from, of course, the inside of the bezel to the other side of the inside of the bezel. On the back of these watches is where you're going to find all of the sensors. And it's just basically a bioactive sensor, which reads your heart rate, uh, blood pressure. I mean, all kinds of things. If you're into that, I'm not. While I'm thinking about it, why do I have two watches on here? What would have possessed me to go out and get two different size watches? Um, yeah, funny story. I actually purchased this one here first. And I thought it was this size, which was the 46 millimeter version. After, it was like a day later, uh, I was at, looking at the purchase and I noticed it said 42 millimeters. And I was like, what do you mean 42 millimeters? Well, apparently, who I purchased it from, uh, from eBay, had different models. And the first one I clicked on was the 46 millimeter, and I think it was a silver one. Then I clicked on this black one because that's the one I wanted, and it was a 42 millimeter version. So, I mean, it was my fault. Not the seller's fault, by the way, and I will be putting, I'll be putting their names up here and links below uh, to all of their items that they have for sale on eBay. And I'm going to tell you what, I went through two different people to purchase these watches, and both of these sellers were outstanding. I mean, very fast shipping, the whole nine yards. Anyways, well, since I only paid about, uh, it was like $120. I said, you know what, the heck with it, I want the one that I want, because I actually got this for. This is a case to drop this watch into that will make it look like, I don't have mommy, uh, it'll actually make it look kind of like my Casio G-Shock watches. So that's pretty cool, and why would I do that? Well, again, we'll get into that in the things I like and don't like later on in the video. But I thought I would just tell you guys that little story. It was it was kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, I did spend a little extra money, which sucks because I actually got the 46 millimeter version watch for about twenty dollars cheaper than I got the 42 millimeter version watch. Now the 42 millimeter, it's brand new. Uh, it's called uh, uh, brand new, never sold. The 46 millimeter one, that's actually advertised as used. And when they say used, they mean open box. Uh, it was never really used. And believe me, it doesn't look like it was ever worn. So the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic in 44 millimeters is 45.5 millimeters by 45.5 millimeters by 11 millimeters deep. And that excludes the health sensors, which actually sticks out a little bit further under the bottom. The Galaxy Watch 4 Classic 42 millimeter is 41.5 by 41.5 by 11.5 millimeters. And again, that doesn't exclude the little bulge uh, on the back for all the sensors. Now, the display size is 1.4 inches or 34.6 millimeters, which is Super AMOLED. I love Samsung for the use of AMOLED screens in all of their video devices, as from their phones to, you know, to everything that they make. Samsung, in my opinion, is right up there as probably one of the best displays on the market, bar none, in my opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one, but I love the look of a Samsung screen. The classic 42 millimeter version, it has a 1.2 inch or 30.4 millimeter circular Super AMOLED screen. And the display on this one is 450 by 450. And the display on this one is 396 by 396. Again, full color, always on display. Corning Gorilla Glass. There you go. The batteries in these watches are, of course, on the larger one. It's going to have a little larger battery. It is a 361 milliamp 
or milliamp hour battery and the one in the 42 millimeter version is a 247 milliamp battery. It has an Exynos W920 dual core 1.8 gigahertz processor in both watches. The internals on these watches are identical. Same RAM, same processors, same everything. The only difference is screen size, okay? It is running Wear OS. And the Wear OS is powered by Samsung and Google. Now, the really nice thing that Samsung did, starting with the Galaxy Watch 4, they basically teamed up with Google and borrowed their OS. And now they do have, of course, Samsung's proprietary, I think it's Tizen, uh, kind of mixed in with it. But in my experience, it works great. I think they hit a home run with this, and I can't wait to see what else they do with it. Because one of the things that I did not like about these smart watches before was just the, um, man, it, it, things just didn't work smoothly. If you weren't using, like, a phone that was connect, that was the same as the watch, like I had an LG watch, it worked awesome with an LG phone. But if I used a Samsung phone or a Google Pixel phone, it, it worked, but it just wasn't fluid. Whereas, using my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and this thing, it just runs great. And from what I can tell, since they teamed up and kind of scrunched everything together with Google OS or Wear OS, it will work on any Android device without any issues at all. Now, you're not going to be able to use, or you may have some issues using Samsung's proprietary apps that are baked into it, but for the most part, all you got to do is download Google's version of it, and there you go. You're set. So that was a big, big step up with the Samsung Galaxy smartwatches. So kudos to them for that. It has 1.5 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage, or they call it memory, but it's storage. So you have 1.5 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage, which for a smartwatch, that's pretty good. Basically, that's all you're going to need. If you need more than that, who knows? Maybe later they'll come out with a smartwatch that has a massive internal storage capacity. So. Connectivity is, of course, LTE. You have Bluetooth 5.0, and then you have Wi-Fi, and the Wi-Fi is 802.11. It has NFC, uh, A-dash, GPS, and, of course, LGE connectivity only available in the LG LTE model. And I actually have an LTE model right here. This one will take a SIM card. This one is just Wi-Fi. And to be honest with you, I only wanted a Wi-Fi version, but... You know, I was trying to save as much money as I could, and this one was actually the cheaper one that I could find. I'm sure I could have kept on looking and found a Wi-Fi version for cheaper, but, I mean, this one was just in such nice shape that, you know, I was like, I I'm just going to get it. I don't care about the LTE. I'm not going to use it anyway, so moving on. Sensors, uh, they both have accelerometers, barometers, gyro sensor geomagnetic sensor, light sensor, optical heart rate sensors, electrical heart sensors, bioelectrical impedance analysis sensor, and hall sensor. I don't know what hall sensor is, but it's got it. Now, for durability, it has five ATM plus IP68. I shower in it. You guys can swim in it. Uh, you know, as long as you don't go under, say, you know, 10, 15 feet, 20 feet, it should work, but uh, you know, you should be fine. Anyways, moving on. Compatibility. It is compatible with Android 6 or higher. Uh, phone has to have at least 1.5 gigabytes of RAM or more, and that's pretty much all it is. And in the box, you just get a watch and a charger. That's it. Oh, and instruction manuals. That's it. And the charger looks like a little hockey puck. And the nice thing about it is it's a magnetic one that sticks to the back like that charges up you can also just stick this to the back of your samsung phone and your phone will charge your watch up so if you're in a pinch and your phone's fully charged and you need to charge your battery up on your watch 
Just take your watch off, put it on the back of your phone, set it down, Bob's your uncle, and away you go. So, there you go. Now, I have pretty much went over everything I wanted to go over with you guys. Uh, I did want to put it on and let you guys see what it looks like. But, there you go. That's what it would look like on your arm. There's the keeper and buckle. If you swipe this way, it'll show your notifications. Swipe again. That's my wife. It, it just keeps showing notifications. You can delete all, delete all. Swipe this way. It will take you through all of your installed kind of stuff that you can put on, which I'm not going to go through all that. There are many videos out showing that. If you swipe down from the top, this is where you can go into settings and all that. This is basically your quick settings. Swipe up from the bottom, and this is all of your apps. And it's just crazy how many apps you can install on this thing. Like I said, I, I'm not going to go in-depth that far into this watch, just because there are many other videos out there showing what this watch can do, what all its functions are, and, you know, I'm not going to go down that road. Can I recommend this watch? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. If you're looking to get a Samsung Galaxy smartwatch, but you don't have the money to plop down on a brand new Galaxy Watch 5 or 5 Classic, you know, get one of these. Get the used ones. Or get a new 4, because the 4s are still out there in stores like Walmart or Target or places like that, you know, that they haven't sold, you know, completely all of their stock. And you're going to save a ton of money. So, again... Um, they're out there, and yes, I can very, very highly recommend them. I wanted to talk about how well does it work using it for a phone, because one of the reasons I never liked these before, and I, I quit wearing my LG, I gave it away. As a matter of fact, I think I gave, I think Bob got that. Uh, he won that. But anyways, is because I really couldn't use anything on it. It, it you know, it was just a, a gimmick to me. But now that they've squared everything away and Google OS is kind of tied in with Tizen and Samsung's OS, it just works so well. And I even, I kept getting notifications like when my phone would ring, my watch would ring. And I'm like, wow. And I was, Randy, <laughs> Randy from Randy's Rhythm, called me one day and my phone was saying, you know, hey, got a call from Randy. Answer or send a phone. And I was like, uh, answer it. Well, and I swiped up, and I couldn't believe how crystal clear the call quality was on that watch. And when I say crystal clear, I mean it was as good as what my phone was, okay? And I, I asked Randy, I said, hey, um, how's the sound on your end? And he said, sounds good. Why? And I said, because I'm using my smartwatch. And he was like, I would have never known. I, I thought you were just talking to me on your phone through the speakerphone. So... There you go. It works. It sounds good. What more do you want? I'm I'm happy with it. Uh, I love the rotating bezel on it. I like the looks of it. Again, the only thing I don't like is the band. But I will say, the band is super, super comfortable. It may be ugly, and it may be thin. I wish they would have made it 22 millimeters instead of a 20 mil or I think it's a 20 millimeter band. It might be 22. Anyways, it's not a standard size band, so swapping out the band with something out there is a little hard, but it's not impossible. There are bands. Other than the band, man, it's a great watch. And again, like I said, I will be reviewing this. Uh, you know, and it, again, it is just basically a, uh, a watch case-like thing that you take the straps off of this and you just set the watch down in there. It snaps in and away you go. You're set. You got something that doesn't look like this if you don't like that look. That's it. I didn't want to keep you guys too long talking about these watches, but there are more videos coming. Again, I did screw up. I didn't want that 22 millimeter version watch, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. My wife will never wear it. Noah, well, he won't, he won't wear it. It's just too small for his wrist. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I may give it away. I'm not saying I'm going to for sure, but 
when I'm done doing all the videos I'm gonna do with it, I really don't have a need for that smaller watch anymore. Again, I may give it away to one of you, so be looking for that. So that's all I have. I wanna thank each and every one of you <laughs> for watching. I do appreciate it. If you have any ideas for a video that you want done, comment below and I'll try to squeeze it in. And I just want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.